Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this dinosaur ear flap hat. Um, we're not going to be using the same colors. Well, I'm going to be using the same green, but I'm not going to be using it for the hat. So I'll show you. I just got this yesterday. So I'm going to use this. It doesn't come in a cake. I made it a cake, which I did a video for. Um, it comes in a big big ginormous ball 649 yards of a ball and it is called gravel print from Red Heart Comfort um, I got this at Walmart for 10 bucks so that's what I'm using for the hat and then for the spikes which is the green that I used for the hat I just showed you it is a brunette yeah, and the color is spring green. They're all four weights. Um, I am using, I think they, they both require a 5 or a 5.5. That's a 5 right there. And then this one, this one is a 5.5 for this stuff. But I'm using a 5 millimeter. So, let's begin. Get my setup going. So, you're going to need to do a magic ring, and my magic rings that I do with you, um, I generally, let's lighten this up a bit, I generally, um, I generally do uh, the magic ring and the chain one, but I am going to, this seems so dark, let me lighten this up, okay. Um, but we're going to do a, um, a chain two after the magic ring. So let's do the magic ring. So that's our chain one that we normally do to create the magic ring. Oh, I'm starting off great. That's the chain one we usually automatically do. But that's because we put single crochets generally in here. But you're going to put another chain so you have chain two. You're going to put 10 double crochets into this magic ring. That's my 10, so I'm going to pull this closed. So, you can slip stitch to the top of that first chain. And now mine might be hard to see, it might be not a good material to use, to do a tutorial with. But. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain, and I'm going to chain two. So, throughout this project, we are going to put one double crochet into that same chain two space. The reason being is so that we don't have a seam. I hate seams. I absolutely, absolutely hate seams. So to cut down on the seam, so where you just did that slip stitch into that first chain and that chain two, you're going to put a double crochet in that same space. So this should cut down on the seam a bit. So you're going to put two double crochets in each stitch around. So with your two here, you should have 20. All the way around, you're going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain. You're going to chain two. You're going to put a double crochet into that chain two space. And get snagged on something. So your second round is going to be one double crochet and an increase. That's one double crochet. Your next stitch gets the increase of two double crochets. And repeat. So 
So I've come to the end of my round. So this little stitch right there that people say, don't use it. That's not an actual stitch. Well, it really helps in hiding the seam. So we're going to use it. We're going to put one double crochet in there because I'm done my sequence. So I don't need two in there. But if you if you're doing your sequence and you need to put two in there, then put two in there. You're going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain and you're going to chain two. So if you're using a pattern that's just a solid color, you're going to notice that there's not going to be much of a seam. It's going to be very difficult to find by using, by doing this technique and then using that chain that everyone says don't use. So your next round is going to be two double crochets and an increase. This technically is two. So we start counting our sequence. So that's one double crochet, two double crochets, and an increase. Now we are using that chain to slip stitch two. So you can't technically count this one. But this one you can. So when you're counting to make sure you have the right count, count that one as well as the one that we put in the, the fake stitch. So repeat that sequence. One, one, two, all the way around. So the increase is the two in the same space. That's your increase. Round four. So your next round is going to be three double crochets and an increase. Um, if you want the written pattern, um, the link's below from my Etsy store. You can go find it there um, along with just about everything else I do. Actually, there's stuff in the store that I haven't done a video for yet. So you can go check that out if you want. Make this a habit, the two in the same space. So three double crochets and an increase. Three double crochets and then your next stitch gets two double crochets. That's your increase. And then you repeat. So your next round is going to be, hold on, let me put my double crochet in or not. Have you ever just drank so much coffee in the morning that you can't crochet? <coughs> so your next round is round five, which is four double crochets and an increase. my four double crochets and then my increase of two double crochets in the same space and repeat alrighty this is what you should have and yep starting to curl don't worry once this starts getting worn there won't be that point um, once I put it on my mannequin head first time, um, that point disappeared, so don't worry about the point. So, your next round is going to be round five, and it's going to be, or, or sorry, round six is going to be five double crochets and an increase. If you need the hat to be a smaller size, at this point it's six inches. So if you need it to be a smaller size, you can stop here. You don't have to do another row. I'm only doing one more row to make it a, so it should fit a, um, <clears throat> a child's head that's 18, 19 inches. 
but if you don't need one that big then you can stop here at 60 stitches so um, but I'm gonna ca carry on I'll do I'll do other videos of smaller hats <clears throat> so you're gonna do five double crochets and then your increase of two double crochets in the same space and repeat so for the next five rounds you're going to put one double crochet in each of these 70 stitches or 60 depending on where you stopped just remember that each beginning of each row has to start with the two, two, the chain two, and a double crochet in the chain two space in order to cut down on your seam. And then try to get one in that last DC. So, um, you can go ahead and do your five rows. I'll put my screens up and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so this is what your hat should look like at this point. This is what you should have. So we're gonna fasten off. Okay, so you're gonna find, you're gonna fold your hat in half. You're gonna find the middle and the ends, and you're gonna put stitch markers. So hopefully you have stitch markers. I'm gonna use two of these big guys, and then I'm gonna use some of these smaller ones. So I could just tell you the number of stitches, but I'm going to show you how I found a point for my ear flaps so that you can you can make your own hats and you can find your own points. So folding the hat in half, making sure that that, is, that seam, which is really impossible to find. So when you fold it in half, you've got these two stitches. Pick one of those two stitches to put your thing into and you're gonna pick that same stitch on this side you don't want them to be uneven so I started with that so once I found my spots um, I wanted an uneven number so that I got a point at the end of my ear flap so um, I counted five stitches to either side of the marker and I put another marker. So don't count this stitch. Two, four, and that's five. So I'm going to put a marker there. Again, don't count this stitch. Two, four, and that's five. So I'm going to put a marker there. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Not counting that. Two, four, Five, so I'm going to put a marker there. Two, four, five. I'm going to put a marker there. So now you can take out these big markers. You don't need those anymore. So, leave that open. So this is where I'm going to start. Before we do anything, though, let's get rid of this guy in the middle. Uh, you can tie a knot and cut it off. However, this is going to be on a kid's head, so I would advise against it. So make sure that is closed well enough. So, oh, I came undone. Okay, now that that's out of the way, you want the outside of the hat facing you. You're going to get your yarn and you make a slip knot. So make that as small as your hook. You can take it off. <laughs> You're going to go into this stitch that you had your marker in. You're going to put that back on your hook.
you're going to pull through and you're going to make a stitch. So pull that tight. You want to weave in this end too. So we're going to be doing um, 11 half double or 11 double crochets. So even though you just attached and made a stitch, you're going to make a double crochet in that same space. And you're going to be able to use that stitch. So now you're going to do 11 stitches across to the other marker. That was number one. Weaving in that tail. that's 11. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn. You're going to do 11 double crochets on top of the 11 double crochets. You need to start in this first stitch. This is a stitch. A lot of people go right into this one and they miss this one. It doesn't keep your lines straight. So you do that for everything. Blankets, scarves, anything you need a straight line. If you're not getting one, that's probably why. So you're going to yarn over, and you're going to start double crocheting in 11 double crochets across. So you're basically just right on top of your other 11 double crochets. So this is the attached stitch we did, and this is the double crochet stitch we did. So it's kind of turned over a bit, but chain two, turn your work. So we're going to start decreasing already. I know it's hard to see. There, that's easier. So we're going to start decreasing. So this is round three of your ear flap you're going to double crochet two together. That's how we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to do double crochet two together here and then two together here. So I got numbers for you, so don't fret. So go into this very first stitch. You're going to pull through two and stop. You're going to yarn over again and go through the next stitch. You're going to pull through two and then you're going to pull through three. So that's how you double crochet two together. So now you should have seven double crochets in the middle. You got seven double crochets and then you should have two stitches left. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to yarn over and go in, pull through two, yarn over, go into your last stitch. Pull through two, pull through three, chain two, and turn. So you're going to repeat the same thing that we just did. Yarn over, go through your first stitch, pull through two and stop. Yarn over, go through your next stitch, pull through two, then pull through three. You're going to double crochet five. You should have two stitches left, and you're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through two, yarn over, go into your next stitch. Pull through two, then pull through three. Chain two, and turn. You're going to double crochet two together. You're going to double crochet three.
These last two stitches you're going to double crochet together. Chain two and turn. Sorry. So you're going to double crochet these two together. You're going to double crochet one. And you're going to double crochet these two together. Chain two and turn. And now you're probably thinking, what in the heck? Such an uneven number. You're right. I don't generally work with uneven numbers when we crochet. However, because I wanted a point on the end of this, so you're gonna double, so you have three stitches. You're gonna double crochet two together. And then this last one is just a double crochet. So it gives it a different look, but enough that you're gonna be able to get your strands in there when we do the, the ties. So you can fasten off. You don't need a tail. Just enough to weave. So you can go ahead and you can use your markers. Do your other ear flap. And I will meet you back here and we will proceed. Alright, so this is what your hat should look like now with your two ear flaps. So now we're going to add um, some color around. This is something that you don't need to do. Let me show you my other hat. So I used the color that I used for the um, scales. I just put that around because I did my ties in these two colors. So I've chosen the green, which you already know. So doesn't really matter where you start. I think my seam is back here, but I'm not sure. You can start wherever you want to start. Actually, I don't know. It's so hard to see the seam. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter where you start. But you're going to do the same thing that you did before and just make a slip knot. So, you're going to go into the hat wherever you decide to start. You're going to oh, put your slip knot over that, pull it tight. So you're going to make a stitch and that's just attaching. We're, what we're going to do is half double crochets all the way around the perimeter of the hat in this different color. Um, so a half double crochet, in case you don't know, is you yarn over. You're going to go into the same one you just made that stitch in. Pull through. So a double crochet, you'd pull through two and pull through two. Well, this half double crochet, you're just going to pull through all three. So it's a nice, tight, fast stitch. And you're going to do that in every single stitch around the entire hat. I'm weaving in my tail here just so I don't have to worry about it later. I don't know if you've seen my Hello Kitty hat, but it's a, we're doing the exact same thing. So when you get here, you don't have stitches. So you're just going to jam your hook in wherever it can fit, and you're going to make stitches. And by jam, I don't mean roughly. <laughs> I just mean stick your hook in wherever you can get your hook in and make a stitch. So there's no counts. There's no stitch counts or you know anything like that because I don't know where you're jamming your hook in. So I'm not going to be able to give you a count on this but I mean it's just a decorative you don't even have to do this 
part. So you've got a stitch or two up here you can hit and I would put a couple of stitches and I always do into this this one here I always put a couple of stitches just so it rounds the corner a little bit and then it also leaves me that nice space to put my these things through so All right, so I'm back around to where I started. So I'm just going to go into this stitch and I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to fasten off. Again, you don't need a long tail or anything. Just whatever you want to weave in. So I'll try to go into a few different directions when you're weaving, if you've got the space to. If the yarn does try to pull free, it's got different directions it's going to need to go. And then if you weaved in, you can just snip off your little extra pieces. So, so far, now we just got our scales to do and then our little ties. So, let's get moving on to the scales for now. Um, so I'm going to do my scales in green because that's what I just did the border for. You need to make, well I mean I made five. Pretty sure. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I did five on this hat for an 18 inch head. Like I don't, I don't know what size of head you're doing. It all depends on you know, the size of hat that you did. Um, so if you stopped at the 60 count and you didn't go with me to the 70 count, you, you might only get four scales on. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do five again. I'm not going to do all five with you, but you make a magic ring. What is my problem today? All right. You are going to put six single crochets inside this magic ring. So you can use a stitch marker, but it's not really that necessary. So you're going to do one single crochet increase. We want a point on this so we don't want to do the two single crochets in each stitch like we normally do. We want to jump right into an increase. So I can get into the first stitch. You're going to do one single crochet increase. That's your one single crochet. So if you're using a stitch marker that's where it's going to go. Um, or you can just do it three times. So my next stitch will get the increase. So that's your sequence. So you're going to do it again. One single crochet, two single crochets, and one more time. One single crochet, two single crochets. So you should have nine stitches. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. So that's one with your stitch marker. Next stitch gets one. So that's two single crochets. Then your next stitch gets your increase. So one, one, two. Pull your middle. You can turn it inside out now since it's starting to curl. Um, I'm just going to cut this off a little bit. 
because it kind of gets on my nerves. So for the next four rows, you should have 12 stitches now. So for the next four rows, you're going to put one single crochet in those 12 stitches. I don't generally use stitch marker for this, but I'm just going to show you. So I've got my four rows done. So I'm just going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to fasten off. You're going to need a sewing tail. So go through the next stitch here backwards. Pull this through. Pull up. So we are going to put a little bit of stuffing in here, just a little wee bit. Don't have to, it doesn't take much and you don't have to put much, you don't have to put any. I'm going to put some because I want this to keep standing up on, on the hat. I don't want it to, you know, collapse or flump over. Or... So we are going to Sew the top shut. And then you still have enough to sew to the hat. So there's your little scale. You're going to want to do whatever, however many you want, and I'll meet you back here and we'll sew them on. Alright, so I've got all mine made. I've got them stuffed. I've got them ready to go. I did five all together. So, to get them sewn onto the hat, you need to basically find your middle. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not easy. So once you figure out where your middle is, I like to start right at the top circle because this is the way it sits, but we're going to sew them on this way. So I'm going to fold the hat in half like that <laughs> because it might make it easier. I'm not sure. It was very difficult. So anyway, I'm going to line it up. I'm going to hold it from underneath the hat just to get it started. Because I definitely don't want this moving. So I've just gone down into the hat. I'm going to pop up into the scale. So I just want to tack it down in place. Um, pinning it doesn't seem to help. So, because you can go down into the hat and back up, that's probably your easiest choice of roots to go. It's still awkward, still very awkward. So I sewed both sides just to make sure it keeps standing up. So I'm just going to go down and up and down and up. You might have an, a different way to sew this on that might be easier. I'm not a sewer. Um, not that I haven't learned anything along the way trying to be a sewer. I cannot find my thing to pull. Um, but I am not very good at sewing. So once you get yours on, um, I just like to come to the other side and I've got a hold of it, this side, so I know where it is. I want to go down and I just want to stitch across the bottom of it because I just really don't want these coming off. 
So I'm just stitching across the bottom and now I'm going to come back so I can do my knots. So I'm going to go through that loop and I'm going to make a knot. So if you pull back and forth like that, it's a nice tight knot. And then I'm going to make another knot. So these are knots that no child will feel on their head. They are so tiny. And then you can just snip that off. So I didn't quite get mine in the middle. I hope yours turns out better. Anyway, I'll keep going. So I've got all my scales on. I didn't really get them very, that even, but that's the front of my hat, I think. Yeah. So, we are going to do the ties now. And you got to make them long enough that they will tie around the child's neck. So, I take one and a half arms length but it should measure about well let's see what it measures at I'm gonna cut a piece off let's see I'll just measure it quick here I mean, you can do what you want however long you want measuring inches um, I um, I just I know I've seen them where they don't they don't even look long enough to tie around the child's neck so I did just about 37 and a half inches long it, it's up to you I just do one and a half arms length so I'm gonna do six of each color Don't worry if it's not all even. We're going to cut some off. I feel like I'm macrame again. So that was six. I'm pretty sure. Three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to do six of the green. So that's my six. So. You're going to take three of each color and you're going to separate them. So I've got three green and three of the gray. Find that hole that you created. Let's go through this way. You stick your hook through and you're going to try to grab this gaggle of stuff and pull through so once you've pulled through you've got to even it up don't make it even on the ends here and then you're going to tie a knot up here So pull that really tight. So now we braid. So you're going to separate these into three sections. So you got to separate all your colors too to make it look decent. So two gray, two green. You don't have to do this either. I'm just Saying. And then we braid. So if you don't know how to braid, you're going to have these three pieces. This piece is going to go over the middle piece, and then you're going to pull the middle out to the side. So now that you've got a new middle, 
Now you're going to take this piece and you're going to put that over the middle and you're going to take the middle and pull that out to the side. So now you have another new middle. To do again, so that's how you braid. So once you get down where you think it's long enough for a tie, you're going to take all this and you're going to make a knot. So i got to push mine down because I used some of my braid to make the knot. Pull it tight. And then you're just going to kind of give it a haircut and leave a little. If this is a hat for a girl, girls like dinosaurs too, um, you can put a pom-pom on the end of that if you want. Repeat. So make sure that you're going to be even here when you make your other knot and then when you do your haircut, just make sure you're even there too. There we go. We are all done. Our dinosaur hat. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.